As you may or may not be aware, RGT used to be a big skateboarder. When I wasn't doing hoodlum stuff, I was doing skateboarding. And sometimes we did them both together. Like, I mean, we, we, were, we were a wild group of people here. Here are some of my skateboarding compadres. You could see a very fresh-faced young RGT here. We got Hank, a.k.a. Haggis. We got Adam, who I had a fallen out with. We got Big Rob. We got MP. This was some of the crew, the Intensa Skate Crew. We were taking over the town that we lived in with our skateboarding lifestyle, and we had fun doing it. So, of course, skateboarding video games have always been a huge part of my life. I've always loved playing them, whether we're talking about Tony Hawk games, the Thrasher game on the PlayStation 1, up until the modern era. Now, Skater XL was a game that was supposed to come out on the Nintendo Switch. I believe it was announced in... 2017 2018 and then it just disappeared so many of us thought this game was never going to hit the switch but lo and behold it did i was scrolling through the eShop, and there it was it came out a couple of days ago and i was like hey i need to buy this game so i wanted to check this game out with you guys and give you guys my thoughts and impressions on skater xl for the nintendo switch now in the interest of full disclosure i didn't get a review copy of this game or anything like that i bought it with my own money but skater xl did reach out to me after i bought the game and have been playing the game to tell me that they wanted to send me a package i don't know what's going to be in it i'm going to do a short of it on the channel whenever it arrives but if it has like a a game code in there or something like that i'll just give that away just wanted to be up front with you guys but let's talk about skater xl and see what this game is all about all right so pretty much when you boot up the game this is where you go they just kind of thrust you in there no story no hoopla so we got to talk about what we're looking at here because it's probably a little bit confusing each analog stick represents a foot the red represents the right analog stick the blue represents the left analog stick and that's how you control your skateboarder from everything from tricks grinds uh flips all that sort of stuff it's all controlled with the dual analog stick mechanism now of course sessions had something that was kind of similar to this but this definitely feels a little bit more refined and a little bit more I would say challenging I guess to sort of get you know a good feel for it like the first 30 minutes I played this game I absolutely sucked but then once I got the feel for it I was like oh okay you know this is how you do this this is how you tweak stuff if you have a knowledge of skateboarding your time is going to be a lot easier with this game as far as sort of adjusting to it and adapting to how it works now as far as like a, a single player is concerned like there's not a story or anything like that this isn't like skate or anything you basically just do these little trick challenges they'll put you to a spot they'll say hey do this trick they'll show you how to do it and then you you do it and you get a little check mark i don't really know if like you get anything for these i can't imagine you you maybe would but i don't know who knows to me you know it was just kind of a way as like more so a tutorial there is a standard tutorial in the game that teaches you you know the basics how to grab how to turn and stuff like that but for me like i just kind of jumped straight into the game because i felt that i could figure it out on my own for the most part and this, this was a pretty I mean, that's a nice little steezy kickflip there you know a little steep put a little stank on it that's one thing i like is is the the foot control of the game like you can actually like put a little stank on your tricks you could tweak them a little bit you could you could kind of you know make it feel like sort of your own sort of trick here of course every skateboarding game has to have some sort of replay feature in it and this game does indeed feature a replay feature basically you just take your skate clips and then you make your little replays i guess you could just share them directly to twitter or your facebook page or send it to your phone whatever it may be there's different camera options there's different filter options i mean it's kind of fun you know i, I got tired of this sort of stuff back in the skate days when like i was on game facts doing like montages and stuff like that you know way way back in the day but this is a nice feature i feel like every skateboarding game should have this especially like modern skateboarding games just because it gives you a bit of a chance to appreciate your art now your skater when you create them like it, it's not very intuitive and there's not a whole lot of options but i just wanted to show you guys briefly you could choose a dude or a chick you can't choose like any facial hair there's some different hair some different shirts gotta go with the skate mafia different bottoms i do love that they have s excels and brown in this game like if you were a, a, an early 2000s skate kid like brown shoes were the wave like i had um i had sal 23s in the gum brown i had the andrew reynolds 2 bling bling americas the sxls i might actually pick up an, a pair of sxls nowadays but yeah it's a game that definitely relies more so on the freedom and the creation of what you could do 
essentially on a skateboard you have all your grab tricks you have all your manual tricks you have your falls and stuff but it's definitely very strong on the physics engine which i like that you know a, a game like you know skate kind of started out like that i feel but as time went on you know it kind of went into a more sort of arcadey situation whereas this feels very realistic this you kind of have to you know you're not just going to do a nose blunt because you, you you pulled up to a rail correctly like you actually have to map it out in your head now you can't get off your skateboard but you can move your little icon here so that you go anywhere you want to go on the map so that's good enough for me like I, at first i was very confused by it i was like how do, how do i move around here of course you could set a marker as well and get to a point where you originally started so you know pretty basic stuff for a skateboarding game but considering there's not a lot of skateboarding games on the nintendo switch i feel like this does a lot of things well as far as of course other maps are concerned this isn't the only map you have in the game there are of course some more maps and we'll take a look at some of those there's really not all that many though you can see here these are the main maps in the game Kind of a bit sparse i feel there are some additional maps that you have access to as well so we'll check out one of those in a little bit but i like looking at kind of the the staple maps here i like this little downtown area that starts you right out here at a nice rail to bust a lip slide on but what's cool about this game like i said is kind of the the physics based stuff here because you can actually do something kind of interesting because i kept looking at this spot as I was playing the game I'm like man I really see something here this reminds me of, of a video spot from trans world where the guy rode up an embankment and then like popped off the wall and I was able to do that like that's not an actual trick in the game that's just sort of using your mind and your creativity with how you skateboard so I like that you can also do like finger flips and crap like that cool little stuff here if you want to get over the top like you can go to the big ass ramp you know the the burn quest the x games crap from a graphics perspective i don't think the game is bad but i don't necessarily think the game is good it does run at a mostly locked 60 frames per second which is actually very nice because this is a game that kind of relies on it but you could tell this is docked mode footage like you know it's a little bit blurry it's not exactly the crispest looking nintendo switch game i of course played a lot of this game in handheld mode as well on the oled it looks okay it's serviceable but it's not anything to you know really write home about with the game audio wise all everything sounds fine there is some licensed music in the game so i turned that off because rgt is getting paid for his videos folks rgt is getting paid you might notice i'm doing a lot of shove in this video i feel like when you're playing with the analog sticks as far as the joy cons like the left joy con is very very sensitive i couldn't uh my pro controller wasn't charged up yet so i couldn't capture the footage with that but i have checked it out i like this little park level too like this is the most kind of just pure thing as you can see here i turned off the little graphics portion of it as far as the foot controls were concerned so you could see those beautiful brown s xls i might cop a pair after i finish this video one thing also worth mentioning before we kind of wrap this up is that there are lip tricks in the game and that's kind of cool i feel like they're very easy to use as well once again if you have a knowledge of skateboarding you'll be pulling off little lip tricks like that in no time overall I, I think it's an enjoyable game and the fact that you can actually do multiplayer in this game very seamlessly is also cool too i couldn't find anyone to play with but you could basically open up a room and skate around it says that there's voice chat levels too so i guess you could pop in a headset i did try it out with spawn wave one night and we had some good fun with it um it comes up it's like 40 dollars, which you know kind of is a bit much and i feel like if you don't love like realistic skateboarding maybe wait for a sale or pick it up on other platforms because it is available on other platforms but just looking at it as a nintendo switch only game you know if you only have a nintendo switch i think it's a pretty decent game especially if you love skateboarding and kind of just creating your own sort of stuff you don't need a, a deep narrative or anything like that there's definitely some fun to be had with this game so let me know what you think of it in the comments section down below view my beautiful skate skills as i crawl into the fetal position and as always guys thank you for checking this out if you are new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button i'm going swimming only one person in the world will get that reference i'll catch you guys on the next one later